This video describes the optical alignment of the bath optical components. Once made, they usually don't have to be remade. I'd like to talk a little bit about initial alignment of the interferometer. We want to get the two beams that come out of the interferometer to be parallel. Remember, there's one coming out of the cube, one going through the cube, coming off the mirror. In my interferometer, I have two adjustments. I can adjust the angle of the mirror, and then I can lock it down, and then I can adjust the angle of the cube itself. So I get them to be more or less par parallel. Then lock them down, and that's the first step. In general, you would want to have your screen much further away and uh, to get them parallel, but for demonstration purposes I think this is good enough. In my interferometer I only have left to right adjustment of the cube and the side mirror. I don't have up and down. I have glued them onto a pin that sticks in to the main middle block. That means I can't adjust them up and down very much, and so they do have, um, I didn't get them quite glued down as, as parallel as I would have liked, but as you can see here, here's the, the two beams off on this uh, mirror here, and I have, I have found that that's not uh, much of a problem, even on uh, larger mirrors, even when we're further away. My interferometer has its little expanding lens is adjustable left and right, up and down, by this slot and screw. In the next part of the demonstration, I'll be moving this lens to try to get it centered into the beam. I've left the interferometer pointing at the mirror like it was before. The next thing we want to do is adjust the small lens to get it into the center of the beam. I found a good way to do that is to have the interferometer pointing at a, a, a mirror and have the interferometer a little bit too low so that the return will hit this screen. As I move the lens up into view here, into the center of the beam, you can see how it illuminates the, uh, the mirror with the expanding beam. And I try to tighten the that lens down where I, I get the best illumination on the mirror. There, I think that's pretty good. Next, I'm going to move the interferometer up so that the beam, the return beam, comes back through the cube and we'll get an interferogram on the... There's the reference beam coming back. And if I adjust the interferometer just right, we might be able to get an interferogram here. There it is. So one of the, the final fine adjustments I do is if my interferogram doesn't uh, come with the inside of the reference beam very well, I'll take and move the lens up and down a bit to try to get that to happen. I might also have to move, do some fine adjustment to get the bright return, other reflection beams out of the interferogram, but that just happened naturally in this case. Okay, I hope that shows you how easy it is to adjust a bath interferometer. So next, go out and make some interferograms.